Get on, hit the switch. I finally changed the light bulb. Ah, looks like you got it right. Hey, stop doing that. My grandpa says it's a quarter each time you turn it on. That's just an urban legend. For reals? So if I do this... Iris! Party! Boots, boots, boots. Enough! Mm. Bulbs are amazing. The brightest invention of the 19th century. Brilliant. In prehistoric times, you could only run your errands in broad daylight. I gotta pick up the kids before nightfall. Not long after, humans learned how to harness fire. What a beautiful fire. What do you call her? Princess. Oh, ouch. In the age of antiquity, they had oil lamps and lots of house fires. Would you be so kind as to pass the salt, my lady? If it please, my lord. Up next were wax candles and gas lanterns. Then in 1879, Thomas Edison finally invented the electric light bulb. In fact, it's a bit more complicated. It was Joseph Swan who came up with the idea. Ah, this invention will make me rich. <laughs> Edison improved on Swan's bulb and figured out how to mass produce and bring it to market. <laughs> now, Iris, do you know how a light bulb works? Of course. You leave a bunch of them baking in the desert sun and the light gets trapped in there. Okay, Jimmy, got another batch. Uh, that's not exactly how it works. Inside the bulb, there's a filament that's heated by electricity. That's what produces light. But all that heat eventually causes the filament to break. And that's when the light bulb dies. Goodbye, cruel world! Oh. Nowadays, light bulbs last much longer. And new models like fluorescent bulbs and LEDs use less energy. That's true, but all bulbs pollute. That's why I've decided to live the rest of my life in darkness. <sighs> Well, I think our work is done here. And one more thing. Don't believe everything you hear. Mwahahahaha!